everybody. It looks like a lot of delicious pizza. This is a very smart organization. They don't pay the pizza and pizza to laugh and they sing. They have that are singing in the beginning of the nature, right? Uh, we're the Black Knight, and we go all around the county singing. We go to hospitals, we go to different hospitals, we go to different activities. We take volunteers who like to come up and sing with us. Anyone who likes to sing, come on up. Uh, usually we'll run out of the county when we finish anyway, so we love to have it, okay? So get your pieces, sit back and relax with me. Thank you for all the invitation. It might be the last invitation you ever given in your career. Right? All right. We're going to start out with this is a uh, multicultural event. Uh, a wonderful song written this way in this land is your land. And it's a good time to remind us all that America is for everybody. Regardless of the race, color, creed, or whatever, this land is our land. This is written by Woody Guthrie. Bruce Springsteen said this is probably the most important song ever in America. Okay, if you know the words, you're welcome to join us. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream Water. This land was made for you and me.
that's the way he introduced himself. You don't have to draw the cards and don't throw tomatoes. That's the only way you got, all right? Yesterday, Board of Ed, Bernie Patterson, and our local county teacher. John Stiers, retired. By the way, and this is an announcement. We have a group, like I said, we go to hospitals, we go to hospice. Uh, those people that can't get out occasionally go visit them. Anyone like to come and join us? Uh, the holiday season is our best time. We go around and sing with people different songs, try to put a smile on their face. Uh, we usually leave, I think, with the biggest smiles, okay? Now, let's do something. We're going to skip spot. Can I get a couple of kids to come up? We're going to do Old McDonald's. And we always like to get a couple of kids with us. How about a couple of young people come on up? Moms and dads, send it. You got a kid who come on up? Don't be bashful. Okay, would he come up? Come on up, big guy. Ah, oh, that boy. Okay, how about a couple more young people? We won't fight. This is won't fight. Okay, come on, Miss Renee. Come on, son. We made this music right on the table, okay. Oh, How about, okay, we, oh, here we go, we got two, there we go. Come on up, honey. We have Renee. And we got Renee. Okay. All right, now, before we do anything, how about you guys introduce yourselves? Just say your name. Lou. Lou. Delilah. Delilah, okay. Now, what we're going to do, you guys know Old McDonald? We're going to sing Old McDonald. All you have to do is, when I say Old McDonald, have a fun, and on his farm, you had a... You name whatever animal you want, and we'll make the sound. Okay, can we do that? And we'll rotate, all right? Does that sound good? Okay. Okay, the very last one. Very good. Now, this one you can join us with. Thank you, John. All right? Okay, bye. Bye. Right. 
who have had the opportunity to get to know her. Kamora, we wish you the best as you move to Penn Island High School, and we know that you are des destined for great things. Okay, so at this time, we're going to have the board members to come up and to congratulate Kamora and take a picture with her.
for hosting tonight, we would thank you. Also, we'd like to thank Ms. Cassidy Bowman. Where is Ms. Bowman? He is the course teacher here at Centerville Middle School, and uh, the course students are going to be included in tonight's celebration, so thank you for that. Also, to the Sudlersville Eagle Squad. Where is the Sudlersville Eagle Squad? I saw some red t-shirts. They may have stepped out. They're practicing. Okay, but I'd like to let you know that Mr. and Mrs. Leventhal, if you don't know, they're in charge of uh, leading that group, and, and the Eagle Squad will be performing tonight. Raise your hand, Ms. Leventhal. Thank you. And most definitely, I can't forget to thank the Black Knights for their performance and getting everybody warmed up. So thank you to the Black Knights. And most certainly for the Multicultural Committee uh, for putting this event together. The entire event was paid for by funds allocated from the local management board. And so we thank all of them for that. Thank you. And to our host and hostess, Mr. Brad Ingalls and Ms. Janet Pauls, thank you very, nice, very much for tonight. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn things over to Mr. Ingalls. Welcome. Before we begin, I do want to recognize we have two of our board members here, uh, Ms. Terry O'Connor and Ms. Smith Mondo. Thank you very much for being here. And our assistant superintendent, Mr. Greg Poluski, our director of human resources, Mr. Mark Farley and his wife are all here tonight. Round of applause for our special guests. So thank you for being here. So what we're going to do is I've got my guys. When uh, what we're going to do tonight, we're going to honor uh, a number of students and we have a few staff members who are going to be recognized tonight and uh, we're going to ask you to come up and we have a few things to say and we're going to ask each of the recipients uh, to thank somebody. So we'll give the kids an opportunity to talk. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start and so let me introduce one of the co-hosts, Mr. Eric Daniels, who has the first presentation. First student that we would like to present to the first honoree is Mr. Hollis Branch. So Hollis to come up. Hollis is a sixth grade student at Stevensville Middle School. He has been described as a young man of great character. And I am sure Hollis will continue to carry the spirit of diversity forward as student leader as he will be representing Queen Anne County for the second time in two years. Hollis has been selected to attend the Merlin Leadership Workshop at the University of Merlin, Baltimore County this summer. Congratulations to Hollis. Alex, is there anyone that you would like to thank tonight? Is there anyone you'd like to thank tonight? <laughs> he said, thank you, Mom. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Nah, I'm not like everybody else. We say it, y'all. I need y'all to be a little louder. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, yeah we need to celebrate diversity in you. We need enthusiasm. My name is John Queen. I'm a transition coordinator and a head coach for Queen Anne's County High School. So, hey, everybody. The next honoree is Ashanti Cassie. Come on up. Ashanti is a member of the Bayside, the Bayside Warriors and Community's Little Free Library. Ashanti says diversity is important because it gives us the opportunity to encourage and be confident in what we do in school and in life. She is honored to be chosen for Diversity in Youth Award because even as a youth, she understands that she can make many mistakes and still succeed at a young age. Ashanti 
Is there anybody you would like to thank today? Uh, yes, I want to thank my mom and my grandmother and all the people that helped me through everything that I've been through. Thank you. Okay, the next award winner we'd like to announce is Jovan Dennis. Come on up, Jovan. Jovan, congratulations. For those of you who don't know Jovan, he is a third grade student at Manatee Elementary School. Jovan is a positive role model for all students to follow. He is very hardworking, respectful, and kind to everyone. Jovan has been described as having a natural sense of leadership. He is accepting of everybody and demonstrates great character every day. Jovan is an amazing student in so many ways, and we are very proud to honor him tonight. Jovan, this is your opportunity to say thank you. Who would you like to thank? My family. Uh, that is an awesome honor. You have an awesome family. Thank you. The next honoree is Keegan Winchester. <laughs> Keegan is an eighth grade student at Southernville Middle School. He is an outstanding student who also demonstrates great leadership skills at Southernville Middle School. Many of his teachers have noticed his positive attitude with his peers and the way that Keegan goes out of his way to help others. He is someone that all students look up to. Not just because of his height. <laughs> Keegan, is there anyone you'd like to thank today? Yes, I'd like to thank my friends, family, and my teachers. Great job. The next award goes to Aria Clark of Kent Island High School. <laughs> Aria states diversity is important because it offers the opportunity to experience and develop understanding of many cultural backgrounds. She also says she is proud because despite many adversities that she or her family has faced, she is not afraid to go after her hopes and dreams. Come on over, Miss Clark. How you doing today? Anybody you would like to thank? I like to thank my mom, my grandmother, and I like to thank Lake Queen. Oh, thank who? Lake Queen. Lake Queen. Lake Queen. Lake Queen. Lake Queen. Yes, also, um, Mr. Daniels wanted me to share what was on the, uh, the medallion. It's kind of our theme, which is carrying the message about diversity forward. And so that's why we're honoring so many of our students tonight. So this next um, honoree is, is special. Uh, a young man by the name of uh, Kashawn Tomlinson. Kashawn, where are you? Come on up. Come on up front. Uh, you may have seen a poem on your chair when you came in, and if you had a chance to read it, uh, and if you're like me, uh, you got very emotional after reading for the first time. Tashawn wrote the poem. Good job. He's an 11th grade student at General High School, and he, he wrote this beautiful poem called The Two Sides of America. And Kishan, congratulations. I know you got your hands full, but uh, we're all, we'd all like for you to read your poem. Would you mind doing that? Before they hold something? Okay. America, the place we sleep, the place we eat, where things are not as they seem, the place they call land of the free, the place most people want to be. It is where there is beautiful sights to see, nice people to meet and greet. But is this what they want you to say, America? Maybe it's not the same for me. Being stereotyped, 
They think I'm a man of the streets. Even if the color of my skin says nothing about me. African Americans land in the streets. Sad I'm thinking God is not me. It hurts when they criticize me. Feeling that America does not love me. When they make so the streets can love me. But I'm sorry America, thug is not me. I wish I had my like that. Maybe you could show me how you do that. Sir, would you like to thank you today? I'd like to thank my mother, Raleigh, right there. I'd like to thank Mr. Ray, Coach Queens, and all my boys back there. And mama Dad. That truly was awesome. Next honoree is Cameron Faulkner. Cameron is an eighth grade student at Stevensville Middle School. This young man, he is one who has worked hard through middle school and has earned the respect of his teachers and his peers. He has worked hard to carry the message of diversity forward at Stevensville Middle School and his positive attitude and his kind heart always shine through. Let us congratulate Cameron Faulkner. Cameron, is there someone you'd like to thank today? My mom and all my friends. Thank you. His mom and all his friends. The next honoree, Joseph Corona. Joseph is an eighth grade student from Stevensville Middle School. Joseph created a public service message promoting others to stand up against bullying. He included tips on how to stand up and overcome bullying. Joseph works hard to spread the message that despite differences in race and religion, everyone has special qualities to help make this country feel strong. So Joseph, before I ask you who you want to thank, what made you come up with the bullying message? I don't really like bullying myself, so I don't get bullied, but I wouldn't like to see another person get bullied right in front of me. But yeah, that's when I thought that bullying is not a good thing to do. Would you like to say? I like to thank my mom and my dad. It's great to see young kids leading when they feel like they need to fight against something that's wrong. Okay, our next honoree is Kayla Reed, Southernville Elementary School. Hi, Kayla. Kayla Reed is a fourth grade student at Southersville Elementary School. She has been an exceptionally positive student. Kayla is an academic and social role model to her classmates in many ways. Kayla is friendly, helpful, and kind to others. She works collaboratively with and shows respect for students of all backgrounds and ability levels. We are very proud to have Kayla as part of our Southernville family. Congratulations, Kayla. So who would you like to thank you? I would like to thank you, my parents, my grandparents, the rest of my family, my classmates, and my teachers. That's beautiful. Thank you. All right, so we're going to take a little break from the recognition. And we're going to bring on the Centerville Middle School Chorus. We are going to sing a song, and, and we would like for you guys to sing on Where Are the Black Knights, because they're going to help us sing. So I'm going to do my best to accompany, and the Black Knights will be helping out a little bit too. But. Thank you. 
Let's give them another hand. Truly, as I stand and look out, we are the world. I see diversity all throughout this cafeteria tonight. Give yourself a hand. Our next honoree is Megan Hammond. Megan has just recently graduated from Ken Allen High School. Megan is a two-time recipient of this honor. Last year, Megan started a diversity club, and it's called We the People. The group has, excuse me, was started as a place to learn about and to appreciate others' cultures, and also to unite all people no matter what race, no matter what gender, no matter what religion, no matter what ethnicity, or what age they were. Megan, we wish you the best of luck. Is there anyone that you would like to thank today? I would like to thank my mom and my dad and my sister and everybody who supported me along the way. Thank you. The next honoree, Lindsay Gardner. <laughs> Lindsay is an eighth grade student at Centerville Middle. She champions the message that despite differences in race, gender, sexuality, orientation, age, and physical abilities, we are all human. Lindsay created a, cel a Celebrate Diversity poster to persuade others against labeling. Lindsay's kindness and compassion helps fuel her appreciation of diversity here at Centerville Middle. <laughs> Lindsay, is there anyone you would like to thank? Um, I'd like to thank my teachers, especially Ms. Lostak, who has helped me a lot throughout the year. Oh. Another round of applause. Thank you, Mr. Queen. So uh, we did have to mention that uh, we were going to uh, recognize some staff. So tonight we do have a, a person from Kennelon High School we'd like to recognize. She is the Minority Achievement Coordinator at Kennelon High School and she does a fabulous job. And the next honoree is Ms. Di Riggs. Come on up. Uh, so, like I said, Di Riggs is the Minority Achievement Coordinator at, coordinator at Kennon High School, and she really has become an integral part of the school culture at KIHS. Um, her work with students and her ability to help them reach and accomplish their goals has made her an invaluable staff member. She is relentless, this is what I hear, every day in her efforts to help the students at Kennon High School succeed. And so, Di, we thank you for all you do. And now it's your turn to say something. Thanks, Di. Um, wow, this is totally unexpected. I came here to honor one of my students who is just absolutely amazing. I love him. And Miss America loves you. Hey, Sean. If you still here, I don't see him. Um, I just want to thank Miss Mary, because I know this, she's been up to this. I, I think, truly believe she was behind all this. Um, she is my cheerleader, my uh, my rock, and of course, and just everything that has helped me throughout the last three years. It <laughs> um, just made it so much easier. I love my kids. They are amazing. Thank you. Thank you, So our next honoree is not here tonight. Uh, Bouchard Poussin. Bouchard is a seventh grade student at Stevensville Middle School. Also a student leader who has worked with other students to carry the message of diversity forward. She is well respected by students. She's also well respected by teachers and judged by everyone at Stevensville Middle School. She is always willing to lend a helping hand to other students and to treat everyone she meets with great respect. 
we thank her for her acts of diversity. Let's keep in mind, we want you all to eat as much as possible while you eat, all right? Now normally Brad and Miss Janet and Paul get mad when I go off the script a little bit. <clears throat> but as we have scripted out things that we read a few sentences for each student that comes to accept the award, this next young lady, I didn't even require anything because I said I would speak on her behalf. Brittany Jeffers. I met this young lady a year ago, she came to my program. And when I first met her, she was real shy, didn't talk too much and express her opinion. As I got to know her, she started speaking up. But she started speaking up for her friends and her peers and the things she thought was wrong. So that was my main reason for nominating her. She's a leader, she stands up, she's very, very proactive when it comes to protecting friends and what's right and what's wrong. So Brittany, since I know you and all, I know who you're going to think. I should be able to talk to this. But anyway, <laughs> who do you want to thank today? Um, I want to really thank my parents and especially you, Christine. Thank you for all you do. All right, uh, the next honoree is Xavier Stower from Grayson Bell Elementary. Come on up. is a fifth grade student at Graysonville Elementary School. Xavier's a confident personality and kind manners make him a standout student. This year, Xavier has been selected as, listen to this, the only elementary school student in the county to be accepted into the Maryland Leadership Workshop. The only elementary school student. So, Xavier, we are looking forward to great things from you. So, is there anybody you'd like to thank tonight? My mother. Awesome. Awesome. Anybody else? Okay. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Shower. Each recipient is also getting their certificate from Characters Counts, and we thank them for also honoring our students of diversity. The next honoree is Alexander Lopez. <laughs> Alexander is a fourth grade student at Sullivanville Elementary. He has matured into a young man who takes his responsibilities very seriously. Alex is a reliable member of the fourth grade safety patrol squad and recently represented the student body as a member of our student focus group for the Cameo group site visit. We know that Alex will continue to lead by example. Alex, is there anyone you'd like to thank today? I would like to thank my mom, my sister, and my dad. Thank you. Congratulations, Alex. The next honoree, if I pronounce your name wrong, come right up here and tell me. Ariel Miles? Come on up. Mrs. My Ms. Miles is the 11th grade student from Queen Anne's County High School. She is the next student board member and has been known to be a student leader who is dedicated to increasing awareness about diversity and issues in our school. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to let you off the hook. I know you're going to thank your family, but I want you to talk about why you think diversity and things of that nature is very important. I always put him on the spot. <laughs> no, I love it. Um, diversity is very important to me because it doesn't just build a tolerance of each other. It builds an understanding. And understanding each other's differences and what makes us who we 
are is what's going to make America a better place. Uh, this week, but he will be introduced uh, this week, but he will be our, one of our new student board members, so congratulations. The, uh, the next honoree is Savion Keen from Mattapique Elementary School. Savion, thanks. Savion King is a third grade student at Mattapique Elementary School. Savion uh, chose in his class to share about the life of Nelson Mandela. He shared about overcoming difficulties and the type of character traits that Nelson Mandela had uh, in, in order to be a great leader. Savion himself shares many of their great qualities. He goes above and beyond in all aspects of his life. He greets many and any challenges head on with grace and enthusiasm. We are very proud to have him here tonight. Congratulations, David. Who would you like to thank? My mom, my grandma, and a teacher. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Good job. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to catch your breath for this one because you are about to be entertained by the one and only fabulous Sunlandsville Eagle Squad. Here they come. Eagle Squad, hooray, press! 
That was awesome. Let's give her another hand. Our next honoree is Savannah Chester. Savannah Chester is a fourth grade student at Gracieville Elementary. Savannah recognized that there was a student on the playground who walked the playground by himself. So Savannah took it upon herself to get him involved in games that he was able to participate in. We are amazed at her willingness to try to include others who may feel left out. A job well done, Savannah. Is there someone you'd like to fight today? I would like to um, thank my mom, my dad, and my mom. Thank you. Once again, if I pronounce your name wrong, please let me know. Esben Ramirez Tomez. <laughs> he is a fifth grade student from Kanar Elementary who carries the message of diversity forward by being a great role model to other students at his school. He's kind and he always has a smile on his face. His teachers say he is respectful and kind to everyone. Okay, well I get the uh, honor of introducing our next honoree and she is the Minority Achievement Coordinator at Queen Anne's County High School. Her name is Andrea Sykes. 
Come on up here and accept your award. You know, <laughs> every time I and others see Andrea, she is working with children. Her compassion and relentless desire to help her students succeed is, is evident every time we hear her talk about her kids. Without Andrea, many of our students would be lost. She is the connection that has helped so many of our students succeed at Queen Anne's County High School. Thanks, Andrea, for all you do. Is there something you'd like to share with the crowd? Hi, I'm, um, I'm uh, relatively new to the school. She goes above and beyond to share her passion and knowledge with the younger students in the building. She is a true leader in the school. She also recently presented at the Chester River Youth Summit on her experience at Churchill Elementary School with the Agriculture Lab. Congratulations, Ashley. <laughs> Ashley, is there someone that you would like to thank tonight? I'd like to thank my parents and my brother. Great job. She's like your brother. Good job. Thank you. The next honoree, Asia Reed. Asia is an eighth grade student here at Centerfield Middle. Asia has been a strong advocate for carrying the message of diversity forward and has been a role model to other students. Would you like to thank anyone? My family. I'm a popular guy. I'm sorry, I'm popular. The next honoree is Genesis Lopez from Churchill Elementary. Genesis, come on up. Congratulations. Like I said, Genesis is in fourth grade at Churchill Elementary School. She is always willing to lend a helping hand to assist our staff and students. Genesis has helped to translate for staff members in the building, including the principal. She wants to be a translator when she grows up. She is a valued member of the Churchill family. Genesis, who would you like to thank tonight? I'd like to thank God and my family and my teachers. The next time we read is the Kai Magwood. The Kai is a 10th grade student at Kids County High School. He inspires all of us with his great spirit and attitude that accepts all and is a great example of all to all students. He is a great student leader. Whether it is in the classroom, in the hallway, in the cafeteria, Zakai is always looking out for others. We have great respect for you and your accomplishments and wish you all the best. Is there someone you'd like to thank today? I'd like to thank Ms. Pauls over there, as well as Dr. Payne, the superintendent, um, and also just the entire 
Queen County school system as a whole, they've been such a big support system. My schoolwork is the most important thing to me in my whole entire life, and I'm so proud of my accomplishments, and it wouldn't be possible without the school system. So, thank you. As I said earlier, I love to go off script. The next honoree is Dominique Sutler. I met this young lady at a leadership program for after school at Centerville Middle School. Well, I met her last year doing basketball, helping Miss Wright. But one of the things this young lady used to do every day when I came in and did programming, she would hang up each lesson from the day before and start the conversation about the previous lesson. She's a leader. She's someone that has a lot of potential to be someone very special. And when we do these types of events with young people in diversity, I think it's important to recognize the potential in some of these younger people. Would you like to thank anybody? I would like to thank my mom and sister. Thank you. Brad is tuning the guitar. He's, I think he's going to do a solo later. You guys should hear that. Okay, so changing the script. The next honoree is Sarah Ronay. There he is. Sorry for messing that last name up. Sarah is known for being kind to everyone and someone who has been a leader in spreading the message of diversity at Cannon Island High School. She is respectful to everyone at all times, no matter what their background may be. Her unbiased support of her school peers shines through in a powerful way, both in school and in the community. Congratulations, Sarah. Is there someone you'd like to thank? Uh, my family and also the Fayette County Public School System because they provide me so many opportunities. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. So again, I get the uh, honor of uh, acknowledging a, a staff member, and this is a young man who, uh, actually, Mr. Waits, Mr. Waits in the back, and we both know this young man, Rondell Sorrell, was a student at Queen Anne County High School, and Mr. Waits and I were pushing there. Rondell, this is your night, buddy, come on up. We're gonna recognize Rondell Sorrell for his leadership in carrying the message of diversity forward. Rondell has been a, a driving force for many years in his effort to increase the cultural proficiency of, his, of the school district. Sometimes it seems like he was doing it all on his own. He was the head of the Minority Achievement Task Force, and he actually forged a relationship with Bowie State University and has been recruiting in an effort to bring more minority teachers to the school district. He is a role model. He is a great friend of mine. He's a great teacher, and he's a great man. Rondell Sorrell. The floor is yours. Thank everybody. Um, mainly my mom and my grandparents. They kind of got me where I am right now. So thank you. Thanks, right, Rondell. Okay, so at this time, we're so at this time I want to thank our our board members and our superintendent for being up. Let's have a round of applause. Uh, it was really hard tonight, and uh, did a great job, so thank you very much to Annette DiMaggio, Terry O'Connor, and Dr. Kane. We do appreciate your participation at Men a lot. So at this time, we're going to call the, we're going to have our closing, and again, it's going to take your breath away. We're going to say, we're going to do a version of Stand By Me, and we did this last year, and uh, I know Mr. Polusky was, was, uh, here for the event and he he loved it. So hopefully we'll live up to your expectations, Mr. Polusky, and try to do a good job. So the Centerville Middle School Chorus will come up and we're gonna try to do this. And the Black Knight, we're all the Black Knight. <laughs>
Thank you. 